Can't get a new laptop. Corporate says we don't have the budget, but we can spend $4,000 training people on how to be good listeners in meetings. Hey Josh, remember that guy that you said, no, you can't work here because you don't have eight years React experience? Yeah, I remember. What about him? Well, he says that he's gotten the eight years React experience um, since the last time you interviewed him, I think last month, and uh, he sent in another resume. I thought you'd wanna take a look at it. Yeah, okay, sure. Karen, why do you let this stuff through? Come on, he didn't even he didn't even type it out. Wait, he put it in pen, cover letter. Hello, I'm applying to the React position. Here's why I'm qualified. How do you suddenly get eight years experience in a, in a month? I know the React life cycle. Um, could you talk a little bit about React? Like, you're not really fine, but you just can't get into um, it because they would not. Josh, it's just a prank, bro. Come on, man, we all know that an interview doesn't make or break you. People on the internet, they told me that I'm literally shit. Uh, something a little bit different uh, today. I was just feeling like doing a little skit, doing something with different camera angles. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, today is still resume review Saturday. I got a whole bunch of resumes this weekend for whatever reason, um, but we're only gonna do four or five because ain't nobody got time to watch an hour long resume review of like 10 resumes. I think the attention span of the average YouTube viewer is like five minutes if I look at my analytics. So, Anyways, um, there's a Patreon perk if you want me to review your resume and cover letter right away, help support the channel. The link for that's in the description. If you choose that, I give you my resume and cover letter templates and you help support the channel and we you know, redo it right away. Anyways, um, speaking of Patreon, I'd like to say thank you to the current supporters that we have. We have DJ Richie, Aubrey, Josh, the Vlaslo, the Martin Fee, Craig, Daniel. I appreciate all of you. I couldn't do everything I do without you guys. There's a Discord the link for that's in the description. I'd love to have you. I personally welcome you. I don't want to be just some guy on the other side of the screen to you. Like I want to be like engaging. So feel free to join and ask me questions or you know shoot me an email, leave a comment. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. I try to make a video and live stream every single day. For the most part, I get it done. And um, if you want to see more videos like this, hit that little subscribe button. It lets me know that you enjoy these. And make sure to smash the like button. The like button, I guess, helps the YouTube algorithm. So we get more viewers and a larger community. And then overall, it's just, a, it's just a better place to be in. I'm trying to get 100K by the end of the year. I realize that is an egregious goal. It's about as egregious as my ability to spell that word. So, but you know, it's good to have 10x goals. That's what Grant Cardone would say, because you're more likely to hit below the goal that you set for. So if I set a goal 10x above what I actually want, and if I hit 5x, you know, I've still achieved like the original goal. Anyways, um, there's some Joshua Robbins, except it's not, it's Grant Cardone. But let's jump into this resume review video. And again, hit that little subscribe button if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the live stream or tomorrow's video. Okay, so we got Jared here. First up, he's from Belgium. Looks like... It's work history, wait, I'm not sure if this all lines up. So we have Alexandria, Virginia here, but it says Brussels, Belgium. Does this mean this is where you're currently located? Might be a little bit confusing for the person reading this. I don't know if you have clarification on, on that on your cover letter, but um, just right away, I'm a, little, I'm a little bit confused there. Certifications, free code camp, all right, remove this. Web developer boot camp, remove this. Um, yeah, so take this out here. I don't think you need any of this. And then expand on what you did in your projects here. So it says what the project is and what you built it with, but it doesn't say exactly what you did in the building of this. So like, did you construct the React components? Did you manage the styling? What did you do here? I feel like you could remove this certifications area down here at the bottom and replace that with a whole bunch more detail about your projects. Also, one other thing, I need this to be clickable. I can't, I can't click these. Uh, they don't take me anywhere. But you do have your phone number, email, personal website, and your GitHub. You need uh, your LinkedIn. So go ahead and add your LinkedIn up here at the top. Work history. We only have one thing here in the work history, which is kind of um, not sure exactly what's going on. But overall, this is pretty good. If you had more work history, I would fill that out. But oversaw network managed lead help desk so it's pretty good um you got your action verbs here very good um you got your dates 
Do you have employment currently? Um, I can't tell. This just says the last job that you had was 2012, 2014, and all of a sudden you're in Europe now. This is a little bit confusing, um, but I would expand on what you did with these here rather than just talk about them and then make them clickable, and I think that you'd have a, a good resume. So nice job, Jared. Thanks for sending it in. All right, next up we have David Wieland. Normal. We have GitHub, LinkedIn, personal website. Looks good, looks good. Swiss, living at some address somewhere, some cool email, really dope phone number. <laughs> Skills, operating systems, programming languages. If you wanted, I would get, I would get a little bit more technical here, right? C Sharp, Python, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript. Do you know any frameworks with JavaScript? Do you know any frameworks with Python? What have you worked with? Do you know Bootstrap? I'm sure you know Bootstrap. Software, Visual Studio, you can't put an IDE as a skill typically. Um, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Illustrator. So what I would put is just put the Adobe Suite uh, rather than listing those out. We have Fusion 360, I'm not sure what that is. Microsoft Office, looks good. Spoken languages, German, English, French. Um, since you're in Europe, I know you have to include languages. That's a bigger thing there. Projects, Data Lab Tech, Technology YouTube channel, and then you have your, your link there. Building brand from the ground up, engaging viewers, succeeding in highly competitive environment. This is subjective. Success to everyone is a little bit different. Now, I, I'm not saying that to be like, no, you're not succeeding. I'm just saying, what does this mean exactly? Are you growing your brand? Is that the definition of success to you? What ex exactly does that mean? Um, if you had some more like performance metrics, like grew from 500 to 2,000 subscribers in a week or, or something like that, that is what I would put there rather than succeeding in a highly competitive environment. We have tech source setup makeover, perfect desktop setup. That's a really long project name. YouTube video, YouTube video, big designing of unique desk setups, working together in tech source to design perfect desk setups, 3D modeling, 3D printing, experience. Internship as a game developer. Nice. Develop key mechanics. What does that mean? Can you talk about the key mechanics that you did? Did you do something with physics? Talk about your physics. Terrain generator. Perlin noise. Yep, that's pretty popular. I've seen Brackies do that. Art of two. Founder and chief operating. Chief operations. Okay, be careful here. Be careful when you do this, right? Because they're going to be like, all right, well, this guy wants way more money. Um, it's, it's like people that are self-employed that they put CEO and like it's a one person self-driven company like you're, you're your own thing but you put CEO like that doesn't make sense so be careful when you do this when you're looking for another job they're going to be like well if he's a CEO and a founder why does he need us be careful with that um, I would just put owner that's uh, I think a little bit more of a, a humble title which lets them know oh he has this little side thing he owns but he's still looking for a job starting business with two co-founders I, I don't know if this is like a what you did. I would maybe change this to be like, yeah, I mean, everyone starts a business to start a business, so I would just take this off. Designing and manufacturing customized desk accessories using 3D printing. Building customer base. I mean, that's good. Using modern 3D printing technologies. What are these technologies? I want to know. Why can't I, why can't I see these technologies? What did you use? SolidWorks to do that? Um... Customized desk accessories. I don't, I mean, that looks that looks good. I don't know what else to say about that. Building a customer base. Let's talk about your, your customer base growth here. Let's see some metrics, like from zero to 100 recurrent customers via SaaS service or something. Swiss Row Video, 2015. You have a lot of uh, things that are going on right now, so these two things are congruent or parallel. Your founder and CEO and Swiss Row Video, you're doing 2015 to now which is what you're doing live video on a tight budget. Um, I would rephrase this to be like successfully held competitive live stream with tight budget of X amount of dollars or euros. Building up IT infrastructure such as what? What is What did you build exactly? Utilized XYZ to build. Define that. Camera operating, live video mixing. I would change this to be like a, Production, production assistant in English. I, I think that'd be a little bit better, production assistant, and that would cover both of these. Responsibility in stressful situations. I, I don't usually put responsibility in stressful situations because people are just going to assume that you have that no matter what in any job. Um, 
Maybe the only time that you'd put this would be if you're dealing directly with customers and you know that the majority of these customers are not very nice. Then you could put like, you know, handle stress well um, or, or something like that and successfully de-escalate um, intense customer interactions or something like that. I, I don't know. Um, but I would remove this personally. Education down here at the bottom. Game design um, looks okay. So for your game that you have here, um, worked on augmented reality game. Why can't I see this game? Why can't I click it? Why can't I play it? Why can't I learn more about it? Where's that link? You have a link here to Art of Two, Swiss Pro Video. No, no link. I need a link to see your videos. You have videos here. You have a video here, but you're missing a couple in uh, other places. But overall, I say after those changes, you'd be all right. Uh, operating systems. I don't know if you can put operating systems as a skill. I feel like you're just going to be assumed to know this stuff if you're going to be doing development, right? You don't have to have a Linux or be running Linux to be able to use Linux. You don't have to have an Apple to be able to use Mac OS. You can do a lot of these commands on Microsoft with emulation software. And a lot of these commands between Mac and Linux are the same. Um, I mean, Linux has some, well, well, a lot of differences, but they're I don't necessarily know if I would call them like hard skills. I feel like these are just like bare bones requirements to be able to even put your resume out there for these types of jobs. And then I would, you know, make those corrections to the skills. It'd be cool if you had different columns. So one column here, operating systems, programming languages, software, languages like that, and then list them down from the, t from the top to bottom. But other than that, um, this, is, this is pretty good. Also, you need like a uh, little little blurb about yourself, Swiss. I don't know what that means. I don't know why you feel the need to include that unless you're going to put that into like a personal summary. Otherwise, it's just like good for you. I mean, I don't I don't know what else to say, but you need like a little personal anecdote that's saying like passionate about game design development and 3D printing or something like that. I think that would work fine. David, I appreciate you sending it in and uh, make those changes and good stuff. All right, next up we have Andres Rimt. I don't know, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. That's German, I guess. Passionate web developer with four years of experience who loves to craft beautiful, modern, and accessible websites using the latest technologies. This is a little long, however it is good. I would say experienced web developer, passionate about, and then insert those things. Web developer over here, work experience, looking good. Um, website for the Institute, in charge of IT, full stack development. Okay, so you put in charge here, right? Could you elaborate a little bit on what you are in charge of? Now, besides networking and computers, full stack development using PHP Laravel node. Uh, that's good. I like that. Implemented a website for the Institute from scratch. And then you have your little link there looking good. Software developer, Vitra IT services, GMBH, all right? And you got another little link looking good. Developed internal CLI applications, third party video hosting. Created software documentations. Could you maybe in include what you did? Did you use the Adobe Suite? Did you use Fraps? Like, what, what did you do that with education? All right, edu education needs to come down here. Um, I know you're in Germany, and Germany is a very bureaucratic place. I've had some students from Germany, and I know that you have to follow the process to the T, or they don't even look at you. However, I still feel like in software, they want to see everything that you can do. And then in Germany, like, the checkbox is a requirement there, but it's still a checkbox. So go ahead and put that at the bottom. Make sure that they can get everything that they need to up here at the top. Uh, don't make it difficult for them. Side projects, you got your link looking good. Got your link, got your link. Um, volunteer work, president, and then you have a link there. That's cool. Languages, I know you're in Europe, so that's important. Leave those. Ooh, certified in English. Free code camp. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this free code camp thing. I'm not trying to like devalue free code camp or say it's not good. I just feel like you might be limiting yourself by including this because it's an it's most people's initial reaction to be like, oh, one of these guys. Like they don't they don't need to know that. You already have an education in BS in computer science here. That doesn't that doesn't matter. You're good then. Um, implemented self service password reset. Okay, so I know you have to write uh, a thesis in Germany. Can we get a link to that thesis here? Right there. We got technical skills, CSS3, JavaScript, mm -hmm, looking good. And then you have all your links up here. So, Andres, yeah, make those changes, and I think you'll be good to go. Thanks for sending it in, man. Good stuff. I like this layout. Bachelor of Information Systems. All right, this is a little bit long. I can just tell. I haven't read it yet. Let me just read it. Passionate about front-end development, seeking opportunities that enable me 
Becoming a full stack web, web developer would be a dream come true. Dude, you're already doing the dream by applying to jobs. Don't limit yourself. That that just shows like a little bit of lack of confidence. And I'm not saying you probably don't have a lack of confidence. You're just trying to be like, this is awesome. I really want this. But from their point of view, it's like, all right, how? All right, like he wants to live the dream, but what does he know? Programming, graphic design. I feel like you could do columns instead of rows. Uh, so put programming, graphic design, languages, and then list. So you could move these three over there and then move graphic design up here and you could remove these by including them into like the Adobe suite, digital print design, UI UX, do you know Sketch? Do you know Zeppelin? Do you know accessory tools? Do you know Agile? Like, do you have any project management stuff? What about Git? Any of those skills, you could add those on here. We also have experience, projects, education. All right, so you have a two-page resume, but the only reason you have a two-page resume is because your education overflows. So you need to figure out a way to put this on one page because having to look at a whole separate page, look look at the size of my sidebar. It increases like, you know, 2x because if you have one page with one line of information on it, and uh, I don't I don't think that you should do that. You should figure out a way to put this education up here on this first page. Seize officer, answered basic and complex, maintained. Yeah, so you got your action verbs looking good. Design digital content. Um, can I get some links here? Design digital content. So like, could I click that and then I could see what you made? Prepared material, designed and prepared. I feel like this is one thing. Um, audio edited programs for rebroadcasting. I feel like you need to reverse these two words, edited audio programs for rebroadcasting in the future. Projects, custom business brochure, one-stop projects, produce a nine-page custom brochure. So this is like your print. This is your print stuff. All right, I'm gonna need a link to your Dribble, and uh, or Behance. So Dribble is like an invite-only thing, and then Behance is like a, an Adobe thing where you can post all of your designs and stuff. And so if you're going to be mainly with design, which kind of looks like you have a lot of design experience, I'm gonna need some sort of link up here for your Behance because portfolio design portfolio is huge. And then also you're missing up here. You don't have. You don't have a GitHub. We need a GitHub up there too somewhere. I'd like to be able to see developed a hybrid web application. Can we get that link right here? What is that link? Fluent English, Arabic. Uh, I'm not sure if you're in Western Sydney. Um, I'm not sure how big of a deal it is to include languages. If this is Australia, I'm going to guess it's Australia. Western Sydney, Sydney, Australia. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure how big of a thing it is to include languages. Um, but consider maybe if you don't need them, remove this and uh, use that space for something else to add more skills like the ones we were talking about earlier, like project management stuff. Um, let's come down here. Yeah, and then figure out a way. So if you did remove this, obviously you'd have more white space and you could put education up there. And that would work too. So Ivan, um, just a few changes here, but overall, I mean, you have the right thing, education at the bottom skills, experience, projects. Um, we're just going to need links to these projects where they're hosted and, uh, and include those links up here. And I think you'd be good to go. All right, guys, one more thing before we go. I've been trying to grow the Instagram like crazy, but apparently I'm just terrible at it. So if you guys could go follow me, I'll put the link on the screen. Um, just go there and then follow me if you want to see some images of what I'm doing when I'm not making these videos or you want to message me, engage with me on there. Uh, I, I just enjoy engaging with you guys and helping you guys out whenever I can. So I hope this video has been helpful. You enjoyed it. Again, be sure to click that subscribe button. We're going for 100 by January. I know, but we'll get there. And uh, I appreciate your time, guys, and I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow.